Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I will demonstrate you how to find the longitude and latitude of the location from the given city or area name. Let's start with the project. First of all, you need to click on start a new Android Studio project. Then you need to choose the empty activity. Then you can uh, give the name of your application. Here I am giving the name of my application is uh, forward geocode demo finding the lo longitude and latitude from the given state or area name or any uh, city name that kind of geocode is known as a forward geocode and <clears throat> based on the given latitude and longitude we are finding the area name that concept is known as a reverse geocode so this uh, program is related to forward geocode uh, based on the given uh, area or city name i want to find the location so first of all let me define my design first here you need uh, you can select the show layout decoration it will uh, look like the emulator screen then you can choose your hello world and delete the same first of all i need a one uh, text view here to represent that this application are uh, doing what right so uh, here you can infer the constraint and from the design palette you can uh, write the text over here this app uh, what this application is doing so uh, find a location based on city or area here you can define the text size suppose my text size is 20 dp then you can define the text color text color is primary dark then you can define the text uh, style that is bold so this application is find the location based on the city or area now i need a one edit text over here so i'm just taking the plain text uh, here user just enter the name of area or city so uh, this is the edit text here in edit text instead of text i'm just making here hint and in, in, here in hint you can just write enter uh, area or city name right so whenever user enter the area or city name uh, i just want here one button to find the location so uh, let me give the name of the button that is find location and here i want a text view whenever user click on this button i want the accurate location over here in this text view right that is text view number two uh, you can uh, define the same style over here text style bold text size for example 30 dp and text color that is primary dark right so i want to hear exact location you can um, define also like that uh, first of all whenever users start any application i don't want to visible it so you can just write like this and uh, you can set the property visibility gone so this text view sorry you need to define this uh, visibility not in button but you need to define in the text view so here in text view i am just defining the property that is visibility gone so here my text view will not be visible until and unless uh, uh, user click on this find location button i also don't want that find uh, location button should be enabled until and unless you user provide the permission to access the location whenever you want this kind of data you need a two permission from the user one is access location and another one is access find location and another one is the access course location so let me uh, define the condition over here if activity compact dot check for the self permission here you need to provide the two argument one is the context another one is the manifest here android dot permission dot access find location not equal to package manager dot permission granted this is the one condition and i want one more condition activity compact dot check for the self permission this and manifest dot permission dot access course location not equal to 
पैकेज मैनेजर डॉट परमिशन ग्रांटेड राइट एंड देन यू कैन क्लोज योर इफ कंडीशन इफ इफ दिस कंडीशन इज ट्रू इट मींस दैट यूजर हैज नॉट अ गिवन द परमिशन देन यू कैन रिक्वेस्ट फॉर दैट activity compact compact dot request self permission here in which context you want now you need to define the array of the permissions so i'm just writing here array of here you can provide the n number of varag permission manifest dot permission dot access find location one another one manifest dot permission dot access course location and then you can define here the code i am writing the request code that is 111 if this is fine right so then i am just uh, <coughs> requesting for the permission but if is uh, if the permission is already given then <coughs> we will just make our button dot is enabled is equal to true by default <coughs> whenever this application is started i am just making button dot is enabled is equal to false so what happens uh, first of all whenever the application load the first of all the button will be disabled and if user grant this permission then and then button will be enabled not only this if the permission is already granted then it will be true but what if a uh, user directly grant the permission so you need to override one method that is on request permission result here you can just write the condition if request code equal equal 111 that is the provided by the user and grant result it means the permission is granted of result equal equal package manager dot permission granted if it is yes then also make the button dot is enabled is equal to true not only this you need to provide this two permission over here in manifest file also here in manifest file you need to define this two permission uses permission access find location uses permission access course location this two permission is required over here you can just check this application is working properly or not whenever you execute this application it will first uh, do what the button will be disabled and it will asking for the permission uh, if that permission is already granted then the button will be enabled by default let's just check this application is running perfectly over here or not uh, see my uh, launching of the activity is doing what see uh, find location button is disable it asking me uh, allow forward geo code to access the device location yes or no if i click on allow then this button find location will be enabled now what you want to do whenever user click on this find location and a user uh, enter any area over here i want to display the longitude and latitude of that particular area so very simple in this you just need to define the code for this button so whenever user click on this button button dot set on click listener whenever user click on this button what you want to do i want to uh, i want the actual uh, location right so you can just call the function that is forward geo code you can directly call this forward geo code uh, you need to define the function also or you can do what you can directly write the code over here right so I, what i am doing see variable city is equal to edit text dot text dot to string so whenever user click on this button i am just first getting the what a uh, user has entered in that particular edit text then you need to uh, create one instance of geocoder so you can uh, call the constructor of the geocoder that is available in android dot location package here uh, you need to provide the two argument one is the context and another is uh, what locale you want to use here locale dot you can use the different different uh, location uh, geocoding uh, uh, pattern like canada china or you can use the get default also so i am just using the get default now using this gc you can get the location name so i am getting the multiple addresses over here so variable addresses is equal to gc dot get from location name is the function get from location name here two parameter are there the first is the which uh, 
for which area you want and uh, maximum results how many results you want so a maximum i want only two results based on my results i want what uh, i am just act uh, extracting the data from that particular address so uh, might be a chance I am getting the two uh, longitude and latitude value based on the city more than two is also available for example if you enter the Rajkot then Rajkot having a so many longitude and latitude value based on the depending upon the area so I am retrieving now accurate information so what I am doing variable address is equal to addresses dot get of zero it means i am getting the first address once you get the first address i am i want to display it in a text view number two so first of all text view two dot visibility is equal to view dot you can set visible so now my text view will be visible not only this i want to display the text into this text view two so you can just write text view two dot set text and here you can define what you want to extract from the data so you can just write directly dollar into curly braces you can define address dot you can get the latitude here you can make slash n again you can write in curly bracket address dot longitude so it will give you latitude and longitude both as well as suppose if you think that I want the locality also so you can write like this also dollar address dot you can get the locality right once it is done you can test your application you need to just ensure that your mobile is uh, wherever you test this application your mobile or emulator must be connected to internet <coughs> let me write here <coughs> suppose I am writing here sadhu vash vani road raj code whenever i provide this and if i click on find location it will do what it will call the geocoder and based on my accurate information see this is the latitude and longitude latitude is 22.2939 70.7589 that is the longitude based on your input you can retrieve the longitude and latitude here you can uh, define the city name also for example i am writing here surendra nagar if i write here surendra nagar and if i click on find location definitely it will retrieve the same might be a chance it will not able to find it out the locality but definitely you can retrieve the different things uh, here you can write like this also atmiya university rajkot it will based on your input it will try to find the data see atmi university rajkot having this latitude and longitude information so in this application i did nothing i just provided the street or area name or any city name and i am finding the latitude on longitude from the location this kind of application is known as a forward geo code that's it from my side Thank you for listening me. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.